this should be interesting, boys and girls, because I can't see my computer screen because of the sun. But you can see right here, I have a large tub of water, which I just made a huge mess in my house. So I spilled water everywhere. This is a very, very flimsy container. So when you pick it up, it wiggles back and forth. So if you're going to do float and sink, do it at outside and possibly even use a hose outside, Mrs. Kiger. So anyways, I have my pumpkin here. Remember, if something sinks or floats, it depends on if it's more or less dense than the water. So I told you on the last page to make a hypothesis or a prediction. So if you did not do that, please don't watch. Go back and do your hypothesis. Remember, it is okay if your hypothesis is incorrect. What is more important is what did you learn? What happened? What's your conclusion? And then you can add to your knowledge and add to what you know, and that can help you to make better predictions, predictions in the future. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put my pumpkin in. I really hope you can see it. And oh, now it is, I should have put more water in there, but hopefully you can see it is not actually touching the bottom. It went stem down, but if you can see, it is actually not touching the bottom. I can push it down. Now it's touching, but then it pops back up. I can push it down and look when I push it down. Watch if you can see the water level right here. Watch when I push it down, the water level goes up because it's pushing that water out of its way. So I'm going to let go and it floats back up. Hmm. I just thought of another question. I wonder if I take the pumpkin and take the insides out, would that make it sink or would it still float? See how one question can lead to another. I hope you enjoyed. You can try doing this at home if you ask your parents with other materials like we did last year. Maybe make a column of sink and float. Remember, though, before you put the items in the water, make sure it's something you put in the water. Make sure you've asked mom and dad. Probably try to do it outside or in a sink. And then remember to clean up when you're done. But also remember to make a prediction before you do it. See if your prediction was correct. Thank you. Sorry for my face. <laughs>